Okay, think quick. Name a Spanish recipe that has rice in it. Exactly. If I'm correct, most of you did say paella. That's totally normal. It's the most popular rice dish coming out of Spain. Now in Spain, we do eat other rice dishes besides paella, and I'm going to show you one of them today. It's called arroz al horno baked Spanish rice. This dish is super good, and it's most popular in the province of Castellón. You know, it's kind of like a paella, but it's not a paella at all. Now, traditionally, this dish does have Spanish chorizo, morcilla, which is a blood sausage, and some people even like to add spare ribs to it. As you guys know, I'm not very big on meat, so I'm going to be omitting that out. But before that scares you off, my recipe still heavily rivals with the original, and with one flavor of this rice, you're absolutely going to love it. Okay, let's get started by cutting up our ingredients. Grab a Yukon Go potato and cut it into rounds that are about a quarter inch thick. Then you want to finely mince two cloves of garlic. Finely dice half of an onion. Grab a head of garlic and chop off about a quarter inch from the top. And slice a tomato into rounds that are about a quarter inch thick. And finally, I'm going to be using this vegetarian Spanish chorizo. It's so good. It's low fat, no cholesterol, and has such an authentic flavor to it. Uh, if you don't like this kind of stuff, you can omit this and just use regular Spanish chorizo. But either way, use one of these because it does give this dish a lot of flavor. And cut it into pieces that are about a quarter inch thick. Okay, let's start cooking our dish. I'm going to be using this type of paella pan. I believe these are called embelled paella pans in English. This is perfect for this recipe because you can use it on the stove top and then put it into the oven and it doesn't damage the pan. If you don't have one of these, you can use a large cast iron skillet. Those are perfect as well because again, you can use them on the stove top or put them into the oven. Whatever you do guys, if you do have a stainless steel pie pan, do not use this for this recipe. These are not oven proof. You don't want to wreck your pie pan. Now, if you don't have a uh, cast iron skillet, or one of these embelled paella pans, that's okay. You can just fry up everything in a nonstick frying pan, and then when we put it into the oven, transfer it into either a baking tray or casserole dish, and you will be fine. Okay, so let's grab our pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and you wanna add one third cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. While we're waiting for the oil to heat up, add two cups of vegetable broth into a saucepan, along with a pinch of saffron threads, and heat it with a low medium heat. Once the oil gets hot in the other pan, start adding the slices of potato. Season them with sea salt, and we're gonna cook these for about three minutes per side. After a total cooking time of six minutes, start taking the slices of potato out of the pan and transfer them onto a dish. Then using the same pan with the same heat, add the diced onions and mix them in there with the oil. About a minute and a half later, add the vegetarian Spanish chorizo and start mixing it with the onions. Uh, even if you're using regular chorizo, this is the time you would add it as well. About two minutes later, make a well in the middle and add the minced garlic. We're gonna cook it for about 30 seconds. Then add a generous half teaspoon of smoked paprika, mix it all together, and add half a cup of tomato puree, season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And about a minute after adding the tomato puree, add half a cup of cooked garbanzo beans and one cup of round rice and mix everything together until everything is well coated. Then you want to turn off the heat and add the saffron fused broth into the pan. Using a wooden spoon, mix it all around. That way the rice is evenly distributed. Then start adding the slices of potato, the head of garlic, and the slices of tomato. And season the tomato with a little bit of sea salt. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the pan and add it into a preheated oven. Bake only option, 210 degrees Celsius, 410 degrees Fahrenheit, between 25 to 30 minutes. At about the 28 minute mark, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pan out of the oven and place it on a flat surface. After letting it cool for a couple minutes, I'm gonna garnish it with some freshly chopped parsley. Okay, now I'm gonna let you guys know how this came out. Here we go. And look how beautiful this came out. Okay, here I go, salute. This rice is so good. So many different textures and flavors. But you guys know I love anything that's got saffron or paprika in it. But seriously, you guys got to give this a try because you're really gonna love it. If you enjoyed today's video on making this recipe, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, hasta luego.